Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Tuesday, the 23rd of February, 2021. Please keep in mind that this reading is for the collective, it's for all signs, and it is an intuitive reading. Remember you guys, take what resonates, leave what doesn't for someone else, okay? It's not always going to resonate, and you might just take away one thing from a reading. All right, so we have Archangel Raphael. Thank you, Spirit. All right. We are ready. Ooh, we've got the Nine of Cups, Three of Swords, Six of Cups. And we have the Nine of Wands, the Chariot, Temperance, Ace of Coins, and we have the Hanging Man. Okay. I'm seeing breakthroughs here, you guys. After a time of feeling stuck and stagnant, now you're able to break free and move forward successfully. Now you have Archangel Raphael here, provider of healing for mind, body, and spirit. Some of you are in need of a healing at this time, okay? Whether it be physical, mental, emotional, maybe it's within your heart chakra. Spiritual healing. Because I see here with the, the Nine of Wands, that's that wounded warrior energy, you guys. That's that energy of... You know, you've been in a season, a cycle that has lasted a long time that was very challenging. It was heartbreaking. It it took a lot of courage for you to be able to get through it. So most definitely, there's many of you, whether you realize it or not, you need a healing. And you can call upon Archangel Raphael to help you, okay? Now we do have the number 99 here, okay? And I always tell you guys, go and Google the angel number meaning because it's gonna bring more clarity into your situation, okay? So we have the Nine of Cups with the Chariot, the energy of Cancer coming through here. This is a wish fulfillment. This is an, a dream, a vision that has come to fruition. You know, this talks about your cup runneth over times nine. You, you know, this is good times, peace, Harmony, success, where your cup was running empty has now been refilled. You know, and with the chariot here, for some of you, you may have recently bought a new car. Okay? Um, I'm also getting a truck. So two of you, I know two of you recently bought a truck, one of you, and one of you bought a car. Okay? And, you know, you needed it, you wanted it, and you're very happy. Now, another thing that I am picking up here, you know, like I said, some of you have definitely been going through a lot, okay? And it's been very challenging. With the chariot here, this talks about you being triumphant over those energies. Triumphant, you're leaving those energies in the past and you're moving forward very quickly and successfully. You're using your intuition with your willpower your intelligence here to really go after what it is that's going to make you happy in life. Many of you are getting along the go you're getting on the path of your divine life purpose right here. This is you being divinely guided, protected, and there's a promise of success coming in here when you get to where it is that you're going and you're going to be watched out for while you are on the journey there. Okay. Now you have the Three of Swords with Temperance. Temperance is the energy of Sagittarius. I definitely feel where some of you have had your heart broken. Okay. This could be a divorce, a, a separation, a split up. This could have been you finding out that there was a third party situation that was involved, maybe with a friend. This is getting to the heart of the matter. For 
one of you, you may have recently lost a loved one. They have moved on to the spirit side now. And, you know, you're feeling an energy of disbelief, okay, loss. And it's going to be important that you tap into your higher self. Uh, it's going to be important for you to do that inner work, you guys, that alchemy within, spiritual alchemy. I'm going to tell you something. This is the hardest stuff you'll ever do, all right, is spiritual alchemy. It's going in. It's, you know, feeling those, those energies of de depression, disappointment, loss, heartbreak, betrayal. You know, the list goes on and on, but it's you're courageous when you allow yourself to feel those emotions and you, you get them out, okay? Suppressing them only makes you sick, and that's an easy way of not dealing with, with your problems, okay? And I'm going to tell you something. There comes a time when all of that boils up, and then you explode, and then, you know, then you have even more problems or you say something that you can't take back, you know, that you said to someone that was pretty bad. I mean, that's what happens when we let our emotions, you know, go without feeling them and accepting them. So it's going to be important for some of you to definitely get your emotions, get this, you know, your feelings in balance here. There's going to be a need for you to ground yourself, okay? And go near some water. If you're having a hard time crying, get in the shower, let the water you know, run, run over you, imagine that you're, you know, being cleansed, and ask Archangel Raphael to come into your heart and into your life to help you, you know, accept a, a divine healing, okay? All right, so we have the Six of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. Right. I love this. So definitely for a handful of you, we're talking about a new beginning with a business partnership right here. Exciting times, you guys. All right, it's a go. If you've been procrastinating on going into business because maybe you're just been unsure or maybe you're worried about if you can trust the other person or not and you can, okay? I'm also seeing here, you guys, when you receive the Six of Cups, you've been dealing with financial lack, hardships, setbacks, get ready because your cup is fixing to run it over. This is miracles and blessings coming in here. Now, with the Ace of Pentacles right here, this talks about a new beginning, a reward for effort, prosperity. As long as you nurture this seed, it will grow and expand. You can take it all the way to the King of Pentacles if you like. It just depends on... How, what you want to put into it, okay? So it's up to you. This is definitely a new money path for some of you. Maybe a new career. And business. All right, so we have the Nine of Wands with the Hanging Man. All right, that Nine of Wands. Boy, I tell you what, that's the energy of being courageous, having so much inner strength, so much wisdom and knowledge has been gained with this journey that you've been on. It's been a long one, but you know what? You've made it to the light at the end of the tunnel, you guys. All right? You, you made it to the finish line. It's over. It's done. You could have gave up. You could have quit, but you didn't. That right there tells me how much strength you have. You are strong beyond measure, okay? Blessings are coming your way because you didn't give up, and you could have. You know, you was even wounded for some of you. This could have definitely been a toxic relationship, an abusive one, whether it was mental, verbal, or physical. This could be you finally getting your degree, years of, you know, working hard to, to get a bachelor's or master's degree, or maybe it's a certificate, okay, a course you were taking. It was hard on you. It was challenging, but you didn't give up, okay? And you know, with the hanging man right here, this talks about you being able to step back and look at your situation, your set of circumstances from a different point of view. It's like 
looking at it and having no judgment because you're seeing it as if you are a different person. I hope that makes sense here. It's like you stepped out of your, your own body here and you're looking at it like you're someone that's um, an onlooker, okay? You, you, what's the word I'm looking for here? You've disassociated yourself, you know? So you're coming from a space of looking at what you've been going through and having an understanding that is true and honest without your emotions involving your judgment, your decision, okay? And I hope this is, I hope this is coming out right, okay? Somebody needs to hear this because I feel like there's been some discovery of truths that has come about for some of you. Could have had to do with this third party situation and, you know, now you have the clarity. And what's happened here, it's allowing for you to be able to cut off, release, and let go of anything or anyone that is no longer serving you. And it's it's easy. You know, it, it's not, you're not going to feel guilty for cutting those ties or walking away. Because you now have an understanding. You know the truth. Okay. Whew. I tell you what, I hope uh, that made sense to you guys. Oh, I wish the comments could be on so I could um, read your comments. All right, you guys. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. All right. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.